Hi y'all, it's me, Helen, from Mint and Bloom Learning. And in this video, I wanna take you through our Secular Progressive History Curriculum, Power of the People. This video is a how-to prep for the lessons and how to get started with this curriculum. We hope that it's intuitive and we hope we've got done a good job explaining and keeping things really easily laid out. But I always get very intimidated when I start a new curriculum. So I wanted to do a how-to video just in case it's helpful for someone. This video is not a walkthrough of each individual lesson, what it's about and what the print and go activities are with that lesson. But Ariel is doing a walkthrough video that will be available exclusively on our YouTube channel. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. But yeah, this video is just how we prep for the lessons, how you can prep for the day, how much time you'll need. And I'll take you through one lesson and show you how it goes. So this video is for our friends who have already purchased Power of the People. Thank you so much. We are so appreciative and honored to be part of your learning journey. If you haven't purchased Power of the People yet, that's okay, just save this video for later. It might come in handy. So you'll notice when you purchase Power of the People, there is a few different options for the download. There's a file that says Read Me First, which comes in very handy. There is a file that says Full Curriculum. That's what I've printed out. I really ha like having, I find it easier to have my curriculum all in one book. I like to read what I'm going to do for the day and then jump right into the lesson. But we had a friend in our Book of Faces community group that said, I really wish the power of the people had, if there was an option to download where you could get all of the worksheets, all of the stuff that the student needs in one book and all of the educator stuff in one book so that you could have the full curriculum in two different books. And so Ariel was like, okay, sure. And so she went ahead and reformatted everything so that there could be a teacher copy and a student copy. And it turned out that that was very popular. So if you ever have a suggestion or a, or a request or an idea for something to make the learning easier, please go over to that Book of Faces group. It's called Mint and Bloom. And uh, you know, you never know when you suggest something that would actually be helpful to a lot of people. So we're happy to help in that way. So whether you have chosen to print out your copy in one full curriculum, or maybe you have two books, a teacher copy and a student copy, or maybe you prefer to just keep your download handy on your desktop or in a file somewhere on your computer so that you can on the day print out just the materials your student needs and you keep all of the teacher stuff in digital format. That can be really handy too. Even if you've printed out already, you might wanna keep your digital copy handy because we have clickable links in there and I'll talk about it later. So once you have however you want, once you're looking at the thing, you're ready to get started with me. So let's have a look at it. Here is my copy of Power of the People. I like to have the full curriculum in one big go, but everybody is different. So when you open it up, you'll see from us that we have a letter to you from Ariel and I. We have our, this is how we do it. I don't think she meant for me to sing that every time I read that, but I do. And that's how that is. It's worth reading. And then Ariel has given us a really easy to use step-by-step -step breakdown of how to use these lesson plans and how to reach out to us for support. So she even gave us about how much time each of these steps will take you. This is if you do one of the lessons in one hour to an hour and a half long lesson. But you might prefer to break these down and do a little bit each day of the week and keep yourself to one lesson for the week where you read a little bit every day or you read the chapter on Monday and then do the lessons. There's so many ways that you can do it and we hope that you find your groove, whatever works for you. Of course, these times are approximate depending on your learner. We hope that they really ask a lot of questions and engage in discussion, but we'll see. We kind of built in a little bit of that time, but every learner is different. And then we jump right into the lessons. 
we always start, and let me go ahead and skip ahead. Ariel is gonna do going through the whole book with a breakdown for every single lesson because everyone looks different. We didn't want it to be boring. We wanted to keep it really exciting. So there's no repetition in this book. Why is for the youth climate movement? And that's what we're gonna be looking at today. What we do is we format every single lesson the exact same way. It's what you read, what you do, what you watch, what you discuss, and then all the bonus enrichment learning that is optional if your student wants to go deeper. So there's always this little part. I like to read this aloud to my learners and get them hyped for what we're going to be doing. And then we have what we read. So you might be an amazing educator that preps the Sunday night before your week ahead. If you do, I am amazed by you. I am more the type of educator who preps five minutes before the lesson actually starts. If you are like me, I would recommend giving yourself about 10, maybe 15 minutes before this lesson starts because I want you to check out the videos and double check that they are, that they're cool for you, that, that your learners will, that they're, your learners are ready to watch those videos. And maybe you just want to show them one and not the other. It's totally up to you. That's why we give lots of options. Remember that you might want to keep your digital, digital copy handy so that you can use the clickable links to prep these right before your lesson. I would get these pulled up and ready to go before your lesson. That's if you are not keeping the clickable link digital option handy, all you have to do is search in your YouTube search bar bar for the title. That's why we include the time so you can double check that you have the correct video. So get your videos prepped before you start. As far as the materials that you need, every single, everything in this book, you just need coloring supplies, crayons, colored pencils, even just a paper and pencil is fine. And then you've got to print out your worksheets and make sure you have those handy for your learners. And then you want to prep your chapter. So you come over to what you're going to read. Kate Schatz, please don't, don't be mad, but I've written all over your book. My learners are younger, so they will not sit for a super long chapter. So I like to go through and highlight what I'm going to read to my learners. Also, each chapter is different. So you might say, oh, out of this chapter, my learner is not ready for learning this particular topic. So you might choose to omit a section. It's up to you. You are the expert in your education journey for your learners. So we hope that you go with your gut, prep a little bit ahead of time, and make sure that you have, that you're not blindsided by any of the content. I also think it's a great idea to actually like take your pencil, don't be mad, Kate Shots, but break it down and label what you're going to read for day one, what you're going to read for day two, if you're breaking the lesson down over a week of learning. So it's really easy to do that where you're like, I might read this section on Tuesday, this one on Wednesday. It's totally up to you. There's also some bonus content here, which is pretty great. Then we hop over to the art activities. There are so many. We wanted your learners to have lots of options. You don't have to do it all, but you could if they're up for it. So we like to give these to the learners. Maybe you could give them before you start reading so they can get started and be drawing and imagining while they're listening. Or you can save it till after you do the reading. It's totally up to you. And then, oh, sorry, I shook the camera. And then you'll see here that if you have some students that are ready to go a little bit deeper, we've got vocabulary words, review questions, critical thinking, ideas for more research. If you have younger learners listening with you, they will love the coloring pages that Ariel has included with each and every lesson. Each one is different. We hope that they love it. And maybe your older learners will as well. There's your answer key, and that's how to get through a lesson. And we hope it's easy. We hope you love it. And thank you so much for educating the way that you do. Y'all are wonderful. And reach out to us if you have more questions. We are so happy to help. Thanks, y'all.